this is just a quick update we are located here in Cookville Tennessee elevation here is 1637 and climbing local time is 503 central temperature is 45 degrees once again today it is April 20th 2019 Saturday we are climbing this hill I don't know what the name of this hill is I'm sure they got somebody out there knows the name of this hill we are uh, we're about 80 we're about 90 miles 95 miles uh, west of Knoxville Tennessee come on Swift come on Swift come on Swift go Swift come on go 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 Swift nicely done there mr. Swifty uh, what else is going on do, 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 do. Yeah, anyway, uh, Grace and I are continuing on our uh, trip to Mount Crawford, Virginia. We are down to 446 miles, roughly 7 hours and 21 minutes. Right now we've got 3 hours and 55 minutes remaining to drive before we are mandated to take a 10 hour break. I think I'm just gonna try to go on the other side of uh, Knoxville and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna do a eight-hour break because if I do a complete 10 my arrival will be somewhere around 830 maybe and we need to be there by seven. Who knows, maybe we'll do a, a, a nine hour break. If we do a nine hour break, he's going for it. He's going for it now. I really thought he was gonna go for it. If we do an eight hour break, it will render us eight hours to drive. If we do a nine hour break, it will render, uh, render us still eight hour break. But if we do a complete 10 hour break, it'll give us 11 hours to drive. But, if we do an eight hour break, we'll get there an hour early or two hours early, an hour early. So we'll do an eight and a half, nine hour break. I'll try to time it where I can arrive there 30 minutes earlier. Mr. Swifty! Oh, Swift! Did you guys know that Long Haul Larry started with Swift? That's the first company he ever worked for. I don't know how long Larry drove for Swift. Oh, he didn't even say hello. I am offended. Oh, well. I gotta tell you a story about Long Haul Larry. Boy, I hope he doesn't get mad. But I'll risk it. I'll risk it. 
Larry used to work for Swift, right? He used to be a uh, trainer. And uh, he was training students and he was on this dedicated uh, bread run between Wisconsin, Illinois, down to Louisville, Kentucky, I believe. It was a it was a quick around. It was back and forth, back and forth, and uh, this bread run was paying really good money. I mean, really good money. I think. I think Larry was saying he was making about $3,000 a, a week. He was making good money, man. It was hard work, but hey, for $3,000 or more a week? And I don't think anybody would complain. And most of the time, Larry did all the the driving <laughs> the student driver was just there for the extra e-log or logbook <laughs> but uh, some of them didn't really know how to drive that well uh, so just Larry just kind of <laughs> you know he he made the best out of it but anyway, he, he did most of the job. And that went on for, I don't know, how long, how many months. And, oh boy, it turns out that his ex-wife was receiving, gosh, I don't know. All said and done, Larry was left with about two or $300 a week. And it was his ex-wife receiving the rest of the money in, in the name of child support, right? And uh, not long after that, <laughs> the, uh, the ex-wife bought a brand new Camaro. <laughs> oh, can you imagine, man, your work hard? all your money and it's somebody just buys a brand new Camaro a brand new car this car was sweet and uh, I think one of the one of the screw up detail of this story was the ex-wife worked for the county of wherever she lived she worked for, I don't know, family court or whatever. So she had all the strings and all everything. And about a month, two months later, Larry just, he couldn't do it no more. So he quit. <laughs> he had to give it up because what was the point? <laughs> He just bought his brand, his ex-wife a brand new car without his approval. That, that's got to hurt, man. That really, really got to hurt. Well, about a month later, <laughs> the car went back to the shop. <laughs> the car went back to the dealership. She had to give up the car. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, uh, I don't know, it was rumored that it was not his money that bought this car, but was it a coincidence that after a month Larry quit, she didn't have any more money to pay for the car payments? It's crazy. It's crazy how it's crazy how the laws are are always in favor of the 
the females in this country, the women, the moms, and I know there are some derelict dads out there, there are dead, deadbeat dads out there, but boy, oh boy, more than often, the dad or the man always gets screwed up, right? And the rest is history. I don't know what kind of job Larry uh, took after that, but he he took a really dirt cheap job. <laughs> Because what was the point of getting a really good paying job and you're left with the crumbs of your sweat, right? It's just crazy. And I think I better stop before long already. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>